Are you looking currently for more opportunities on the short side or is the because the market has come down so much you're you're a little gun shy to do that at this point? Well, I mean, obviously, valuations are lower. So we're always looking for, for opportunities. Um, that's that's what we do. Um, I don't know where the market's going. That's long been our our view as a, as a company and, and as, as my view as a chief investment officer. Um, I don't know where the market is going. I don't know that other people know where the stock market's going. What we do try to do is analyze companies, and we've been fairly successful in doing that. And so the idea is every idea stands on its own merits. Um, valuation is an important part of that. So if valuations are down, then we'll be less likely to, to do something. Having said that, as I said at the outset of our conversation, there's lots of situations where the valuations are, are, are still excessive and kind of shockingly so. So, I mean, it's, um, it's interesting. Now, there's lots of things that look interestingly cheap. One area I would warn people about, for example, is, is the virus stocks. I mean, there's tons of companies, that, and I hear about them every day, um, you know, on, on your network and other places, about you should be buying XYZ because it's doing well right now in this enforced lockdown. So a lot of these companies are, that really are not structurally growth stocks um, are trading at 30, 40, 50 times earnings because they're going to do well in the first and second quarters of 2020. But, of course, when the virus subsides, as we all know it will, uh, those companies will probably you know, begin to not look as attractive going forward. So that would be an area, I think, that, that I would tell your viewers to be very, very careful is just piling into things that are doing well because people are inside and will stay inside for the next three or four or five weeks or three or four or five months. I mean, are you, are you suggesting, when you say virus stocks, just to make sure we're all on the same page here, the, the Zoom medias, the, the Teladocs, Things yeah, that the, have the, seen the, a, a big the Pelotons, run the Zooms, the the Cloroxes. I mean, you know, I could give you a list of thirty names, and I have a list of thirty names. I'm just saying that that a lot of companies have are, are contracyclical right now because of the virus. And and again, what we really would urge investors to do is look at the business and look at 2019, and take an educated guess and do your research and do your work and what you think this looks like in 2021. And if it's still a cheap stock then, then it might be an attractive investment on the long side. But if it's really, really expensive based on 2019 and, and 2021, you might want to think twice. Are, are you short as Zoom Media, for example? We are not. Uh, what about Teladoc? Uh, nope. nope. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to Josh.